Welcome to Dr. Piercy's Setting Up the Servlet Guessing Game Example. In this video, we'll review the components of our guessing game example, the servlet version. You'll learn how to create an eclipse project that will eventually include all of these components, and we'll take a brief tour of the results of setting up our project. Let's quickly review the guessing game. Craig, the game master, will come up with a secret number and then he'll ask Nick, the player of games, to guess a number between zero and a thousand. Nick will respond with a guess, for example 500. Craig will then respond with the appropriate message, in this case wrong, guess lower. Nick will come back with a new guess, this time 250. Craig says guess higher. Nick says 300. Craig says guess lower. Finally, Nick comes back with 253, and Craig responds, Amazing, you got it in four guesses. So he tells him that he got it correct, and he tells him the number of guesses. Our task is to make a web application that will come up with a new secret number so that the player can play multiple games. For this example, where we are studying Java servlets, we're going to create the game in this way. Server side will initialize the game and set a random target and then present a form that the player can use to enter their first guess. We're going to create the component index.jsp. I've already created that in another application, so one thing we'll learn in this video is how we might pull that in from another application and then tweak it for our use this time. For the rest of the game, where we're comparing the guess with the target and responding appropriately, we're going to create a game servlet. In this example, the game servlet will act as both the controller and the view for the MVC design pattern. We'll include one Java class in our model. This will be game number. This can be called on by index.jsp and our guest servlet to represent any of the numbers that we might have in the game. Here we are in Eclipse. One thing you can note is that in the Project Explorer, I'm already listing a guessing game, which is my JSP version from a previous example that I created to learn about JSPs. I went ahead and included this project on the workbench so that we can pull from it a couple of the files that we're going to need for this project. Let's start creating the servlet edition of the guessing game by first creating the dynamic web project. Under File menu, go to New. Select Dynamic Web Project. Here we see a set of dialog boxes that we need to carefully fill out in order to create our new project. First, I'll fill out the project name, Guessing Game, Servlet version. I'm going to check the location. Notice it's going to store it in my workspace on my hard drive. The target runtime, I would like to have Apache Tomcat version 7. You can adjust that if you need to for other runtimes on your system. You want to keep the Dynamic Web Module version 3.0. Glance briefly at configuration. That's set up well for me. Same as that for the EAR membership and working sets. Nothing to change with those. Now I'll click Next. I'm going to leave this as set as default. Notice that the source folder will be used for any class files, anything that are Java components, which will include our game number cl Java class, but will also include our servlet. A servlet is a special Java class, and it will be underneath the source folder. Click Next. Note the context root. It's going to be guessing game servlet version. I'll leave that. We'll put web content in the web content directory. And I'm going to leave generate web.xml deployment descriptor unchecked. I do not plan to use that for my particular application. Everything is set, so now click finish and we'll see the results. The only change that's visible on the Eclipse workbench is that guessing game servlet version has been added to the Project Explorer window. Let's expand that to see what's inside. We notice several folders. You'll note the deployment descriptor is listed here. That's not really active because I chose not to include that when I went through the dialog boxes. We'll see Java resources and we have a source folder. We'll add a couple of packages to that in a moment. And we see web content. 
Web content is where we'll be storing our webby items, such as JSP or HTML. The source folder will hold our Java items. It will hold our game number Java class, as well as our game servlet. Let's right click on the source to create a couple of different packages so we can keep these organized. Source, new, package. I'm going to call this first one model. That's where we'll keep the game number. I'm going to right click on source one more time. New, package. I'm going to call this one controllers. This would be the package where I would store any servlets that I want to include in my project. Click finish. We can see that both of those have been added underneath the source folder in our Java resources. Now the game number we have already created for our guessing game. So let's see how we might add it to our model. Right click on model and then let's choose import. If you want to get a single file that you've already created into your project, select file system and then we're going to browse for the directory where this is located. So I'll browse. Mine are stored in my workspace and I previously created a game number under the guessing game source model folder. You'll notice game number.java is stored there. Select open. I'm going to click on the game number.java so that I can import it. Notice I could also select overwrite existing resources without warning. I don't have any existing yet so no problem. I'm going to hit finish. Now we can see that the game number has been added to the model if I double click on it, I can see the code is there. Remember, one of the hallmarks of object-oriented programming is reuse, and I'm taking advantage of this and reusing a class that I created in a previous example. There's another way we can get components that we've already created, and I'm going to do that with the index.jsp file. Index.jsp is a web component, so it would be stored here in web content. I created one for my earlier guessing game that is very close to what I need for this guessing game. Only one or two small tweaks that will need to be made. I can import it into web content the same way I imported game number. I can also do a copy and paste from another open project. Let me show you how you might do that as well. Let's expand the guessing game JSP version until we see the index.jsp file. Let's highlight the index.jsp file, right click, and select copy. Now let's go back to our current project, guessing game servlet version. Let's select web content, right click, and select paste. We should now see index.jsp is a part of both of these projects. Before I go any further, I'm actually going to close out my guessing game JSP version. I'm going to right click it and select delete. I really just like to keep a clean Eclipse workbench. Notice I'm not actually deleting Guessing Game JSP version from the hard drive, only from what we visibly see on the workbench at this time. And I'm going to click OK. One more thing I want to do before I complete the setup is tweak index.jsp just a little bit. Double click on it. We see in the editor that index.jsp has been created and it's mostly exactly like we want to use it in this servlet version. It's a mix of some Java which will serve to initialize the game numbers and come up with a random target and HTML which provides the first view for the initial guess. The form includes components to get the guess as well as some hidden components which we're using for state management at this time only until we learn how to do this better. The one thing that we do want to change is that in this example we are not going to have a guess.jsp to handle the view and controller for additional guess. Instead we're going to use a servlet. Let's simply change the action to guess. Once we've completed the game servlet, guess will be mapped so that it will cause the game servlet to run when this form is submitted. Make sure you save your project and we'll see in a later video how we can add the final component, the game servlet. For more information about the concepts that you learned in this video, please visit the references shown here. This video was written, narrated, and produced by Dr. Craig A. Piercy. 
The background music is locally sourced by Jason Farnham from the YouTube Audio Collection. This has been a Piercy Production.